Greens oppose forced amalgamations. And I mean, I might have got this wrong, but my understanding was that the Baird government's position was very clear that they will do forced amalgamations and the councils have to show cause basically by the 30th of June why they shouldn't be amalgamated. And this phrase fit for purpose means you're not fit for purpose unless you meet these guidelines, which you won't meet unless you're very big. Now, the only people who want very big councils, I believe, is the big end of town. Why they want them, I'm not quite clear, but there's no residents want them. In Western Australia, where they have compulsory referenda, there have been no amalgamations because people don't want them. The councils are generally far more fiscally stable and responsible than most state governments and federal governments, in fact. And so it's a much blacker kettle calling the pot, as it were. Certainly, the Greens do not support amalgamation. The suggested size is 250,000. Why you would need 250,000 council when you've got states, God only knows. Perhaps we should abolish the states. That's another serious, uh, serious suggestion that I think needs a lot more attention than it's had. But let's continue at the moment to have uh, a councillors representing four or 5,000 people as opposed to if there were 250,000, 10 councillors, they'd be at 25,000 ratepayers each. And of course, that's basically the same sort of numbers as you'd get with a state MP. So why would you bother having a council that big at all? So I think this is a very a bad idea indeed. And my understanding is that the bad government will do it if it's re-elected. And I think that's, uh, well, that's a good reason, frankly, why you should vote Green and at least say you don't want to do this. Thank you.